Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Oliz, and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. In the last episode, we started working on a chicken coop uh, to store all of our chickens who are just kind of hanging out right now. Uh, do we have we have some more terra steel? We have a whole bunch of chicken manure, and we're getting plenty of stuff uh, from these guys, but not enough. So we were working on the chicken coop, and I did a little bit of work between episodes. Uh, just kind of planning things out and whatnot. Uh, I managed to get all of the nesting pins that we're going to need. Still need a lot of wheat, so I'm going to let this grow um, because we need to do a floor down here. Um, but uh, last time we were looking at the glass and the acacia planks, and I liked how that looked and how to design all this. Um, I wasn't sure how I wanted this to look. Uh, so I wanted to do basically three rows of chickens. Uh, this is going to be the easiest way to kind of handle things. Uh, but I wasn't sure, like, w how I wanted to, like, support them, and I really like this. So, uh, this building is going to be, um, dark on the inside with all of the dark oak, but then, um, we'll have the nice acacia planks and the glass, um, the, the chicken wire, as I like to think of it as, and all of that fun stuff. So, um, we'll probably also have some dark oak up here, but a lot of stuff up here is going to be glass if I can manage that. And then a roof. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to use yet, but um, I've considered nether brick. Um, we'll see about that. that. That'll be later. I'm not too worried about a roof. Uh, now, one thing to kind of note, this building and this building are going to look really, really bad unless we make some changes. Uh, and I'm not quite sure how I want to make these changes, but... Uh, something about building in Minecraft. So for something something like this, this is not supposed to look pretty. It's supposed to be utilitarian. Um, I just need this to give me mob drops. Um, same with this. So these buildings I don't really care about. We might make them look nicer later, but eh, probably not. Um, but our little house and our chicken coop, uh, they don't look too nice. And the big reason why isn't because of the colors. I really like the colors of this guy. And this is all vanilla, like, we didn't use any, no, we used, did we use chiseled? No, none of this is chiseled. So this is all vanilla, like, colors and textures and all that kind of fun stuff. But something that makes this look really, really bad is it's so flat. Um, flat does not look good. And we're going to have the same problem with this. I have some ideas how to fix it, but that'll be later once we get uh, more of it built. Once I get more of it built. Uh, but yeah, so the, the chicken coop, I have some ideas on how to make it look nicer. Um, but this guy, I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them. But uh, I think I need to do something about the roof, but I don't know. I'm terrible at roofs. Uh, but anyways, it's not that big of a deal. Um, we'll, like, we'll make it look nicer. I just wanted to kind of mention that. So, what are we going to do today? Well, first of all, seeds. Um, do we have all the terra steel yet? Do I did I put the terra steel in here? No. We have two. I have two on me. Do we have more terra steel in here? No. So I've been keeping all the terra steel in here. Uh, the terra steel chicken does not produce that often. I think it's you. Yeah, um, like 37 minutes. Uh, that'll be better once we level them up and get 10, 10, 10 chickens, but that's going to be a while. So what are we going to do today? Um, we've basically, I, we could work more with Britannia. I really don't want to. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, this occasionally happens. The chickens get out. Uh, I think it's the same bug that it's always been of uh, when a when you have fences and stuff, the chickens can stand like this guy was, uh, like all these guys are, where they're actually in the block of the fence. Um, so when the world loads in, uh, basically they glitch through the fence and escape. Um, not a big deal, uh, so long as it's not this outer fence, because then I could lose chickens and I don't want to do that. But So yeah, what are we going to do today? Well, let's take a look at the advancement book. Um, there's still a handful of things. Let's see, what's the earliest thing we need to do? The growth crystals, I don't really want to make those right now. Um, exploration stuff, that's kind of boring. Uh, we'll do that stuff kind of later once we have like a bunch of things to do. Um, automate crop harvesting, we'll do that later as well. 
Um, extreme reactors, I don't want to do that. That's too much resources. Uh, I want to build up resources. So what we're going to end up doing today is we're going to start looking at blood magic. Uh, now, this is a newer version of blood magic than I'm used to. Um, I'm used to like the 1.7 version uh, where things were kind of simple, but it's it's become more complicated. Now, I have not built up the area for blood magic yet, um, so we're just going to kind of do stuff up here, but that's what we're going to get started into. So uh, let's actually just hit uh, blood magic. Cool. So I do believe, hopefully, because um, yeah, there's this incense altar and a bunch of things that you can do. Um, I've done a little bit of work with blood magic, this version of blood magic, but like the sigils are all completely different. Um, there's this thing called the Hellfire Forge, which is used for a bunch of stuff. It's a lot different than I'm used to. Um, you, Tome, no, Storm experience that's not what we want um we might see what this is i don't know if this is a guide book or not but we need a blood altar that's the first thing and in order to get a blood altar we need demonic will so i at least know this part um to get demonic will we're going to need uh well we have options we can either make a living weapon which requires a Hellfire Forge and a Tartaric Gem, plus the actual Demonic Will. Um, and that's just, there's a lot of things going on there. Or we can make these snares. Um, this will also allow us to get uh, just a little bit of Demonic Will. So we're going to make a few of these. Ooh, we're getting a good number of Dimlets. Um, once we get into Draconic Evolution, we can do more work with Dimlet, but before we can do that, we need to get more Draconium. I don't have enough Draconium yet. Uh, make sure there's nothing else in... I, I like to store chests everywhere, so I'm really bad about that. I need to I need to clean that stuff up. Um, we are getting a lot of loot bags. I've been uh, converting them all up rather than letting any of them... Uh, Rather than letting any of them, like, oh, how, how do I want to say it, uh, be opened, I don't want to, like, cycle, so I've been opening these all. Uh, we have a lot of loot bags. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to clean this out real quick. Uh, but I, this is just so that we can get more, uh, we can get all the Draconic Evolution stuff. Um, draconium. There we go. That's the stuff. Um, that's what it's called. So we have another legendary loot bag. I should have done this earlier. I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, let's see. Let's open this guy. Ooh, draconium dust. That is good. Uh, so that's one more piece of draconium. Oh my gosh. Stop throwing stuff on the ground. Alright, so... We have a good number of loot bags. Let's just try to get through all these. Oh my gosh. I keep throwing them on the ground. That's not good. Let's switch this stuff back around. All right, we're going to have one more legendary. We'll open. Ah, nothing good. All right, so this should be good enough. Some more rares. Yeah, so that that can set. Uh, this guy, it was probably all in the ender chest because this guy is not currently working. All right, so we're going to get into, we need demonic will. To get demonic will, we need to either kill a mob with a um, wow, that was instant. Um, we either need to kill a mob with a, uh, living weapon, or we need to, to snare them. So, those white particle effects, we get demonic will. Uh, I do believe it is a chance. 
There, come on out, guys. You can get hurt. And... There we go. We have a little bit of demonic will. Uh, so all of these demonic wills have different quality. Um, so we have 0 0.06, 0 0.62, 0 0.5. And this is a pretty important thing. And one of the first things we're going to want to do is get a sentient sword. Um, sentient swords are not bad, but they're better than nothing. Um, they're better than the snares. Uh, so, and I believe the bound blades also work. Um, yeah, bound blades, I do believe will also work, but that's pretty advanced stuff. So first thing we need is a blood altar. Um, we're going to need a furnace. And we just put in, let's put the weakest of the demonic wills, and there is the blood altar. So we did this. Um, we still have to place the blood altar. We'll go ahead and do that. And just right there. So that is a tier one blood altar. And what that means is, well, we have to build big multi-block structures to make uh, higher tier blood altars. Uh, the higher tier allows you to do different things. So for example, a tier three lets you get the elemental inscription tools, which is for rituals um, that do various things. Tier one gives you blood orbs. Well, they all give you blood orbs. Um, but tier four gets you like really cool stuff and it's just the different tiers give you different things um that's that's all it is um all the different slates which i will complain uh the slates all look the same other than the color i don't really like that um but whatever uh i do like the new textures and stuff i just there there's these guys look the same um pretty much exactly but anyways um uh, so you need different tiers to get different things. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to start getting blood. Uh, and in order to get blood, so we can get both a blood orb, a weak blood orb, which we can store blood in. Um, so, all right, I gotta explain things. Um, so blood magic um, revolves around blood. And it is literally our blood or monster bloods or animal bloods or villager bloods, whatever. Just blood. Um, and in order to make things, we have to use power from said blood. Now, whether it is physical in the blood altar or stored in what's called our life network, um, our LP network, our life points, um, that is where we've stored blood through using blood orbs. Um, and there are multiple tiers that can do different things, store different things. They store the life essence uh, that we can then use for rituals or uh, making other things or a, a bunch of things. Um, and at the end of the day, like this mod can be very, very, very powerful, but it requires a lot of groundwork, a lot of infrastructure and a lot of a lot of blood. Um, some of the top tier stuff takes like, millions of blood um granted one heart is a thousand blood i no is it we'll find out here soon um so the first thing we need is a way to get blood out of us um and to do that we need the sacrificial dagger um this is pretty easy and we might even have a few um dagger of sacrifice uh that is different uh, the Dagger of Sacrifice is if we want to uh, take blood from other things. So we'll use the Sacrificial Dagger. There are ways to do things, but that will give us a little bit of blood. We can't see how much. Um, if we want to be able to see how much, we need a Sigil. Um, where is it? Divination Sigil. So that's the Alchemical Array. We need a Hellfire Forge, and uh, we'll get to that stuff soon enough. So first thing we should probably do is get a, grab a diamond and a book. Um, so I want to see what the book is first. So let's do that. And the blood will go away. So there is that. 
Um, Secret with the Blood Altar, I think it's still the same as it used to be. I don't know for sure. Um, but the Blood Altar actually has an internal tank that allows it to transfer blood. Um, that fills up first, so the first little bit of blood that you actually like give it um, is not going to go anywhere. Like, it, it's not going to be usable. It's going to go into an internal tank so that you can pump it in and out of the blood altar. And once we start building the actual, like, um, structure for the t the higher tiers, we have to use these runes. And we can actually use upgrades. There's a bunch of different ones um, that do different things. So we have this Inspectoris Scandalum. Um, oh, oh, okay, that's even, that's even more useful. So if we want to, um, what if we, okay, I don't know how this works, but, um, this is going to be useful for telling us, uh, how to build the altars, sort of. Um, so we can put that away. That's not that big of a deal. Uh, do we have anything else at Blood Magic in here? No, just those three things. Alright, so there's this incense altar. I'm not entirely sure how that works. We'll worry about that later. Um, I do wish there was an actual book. I don't know that there is. Um, at least nothing that looks like an actual book. Uh, living armor. Living armor is super duper powerful stuff so let's go ahead and try to get the um sentient sword so we don't have to make these rudimentary snares anymore so first thing we need to do is make a hellfire forge um so hellfire forge pretty easy and we're just gonna set this right here for now so this thing uses demonic will um you know we should also try to make the alchemical array thing uh, but I think that also requires the Hellfire Forge. Um, where is... There they are. Uh, Arcane Ashes, yes. So, um, this is actually really easy. So we need a couple of things. We need redstone. Uh, we need gunpowder. We need some coal. And we need some bone meal. All really, really easy things. And if we put all that stuff in there and put some demonic will in there, um, this should not be drained. We'll get arcane ashes. So we're just going to take one of these for now. Um, I don't know if we need any more right now. Uh, but I want to make the divination sigil. So we need a blank slate that is a piece of stone. So let's grab that. We'll put it in here. Hope we have enough blood. We don't. Let's get some more blood in there. And heal back up. Um, cool. There we go. Blank slate. Uh, so we have the blank slate. We have the arcane ashes. We just need redstone. Okay. So this is pretty pretty cool I do believe um, so where do we want to do this I kind of want to do it away from like I think there's a lightning effect I don't know if it actually damages it or anything or not but let's just put that down and then we drop um, is it like that no Give me my cobalt. Okay. Okay. So we put that down. Um, I don't remember how to work this. I think we put... We just right click. Yeah, we just right click it. And it does this really cool like effect. And... There we go. Divination Sigil. So we right click this, it binds it to us, and we can see that our current, our current LP, our soul network is zero. 
and here there is um, uh, 1200 LP, it has a capacity of 10,000 and it's currently tier 1. We can also see it at the top now if we shift click with this just in our hand. Okay, it actually has to be in our hand. Cool. Uh, it didn't used to be that way. Uh, it used to be that any eye or whatever plugin you have to see what things are would actually show you what um, blood, how much blood you had in this stuff regardless of whether or not you had divination sigil. So that's kind of nice um, that that is fixed. So, um, we did that, and haven't done anything else yet. Okay. So, next thing that we're going to do, uh, let's try to get a living, a sentient sword. So, we need an iron sword and a tartaric gem, um, and then, so to make a tartaric gem... We need a minimum of one will. So let's uh, let's get this stuff together. Uh, so in order to make this stuff, we need lapis, gold, redstone, and glass. Make a stack of glass. So lapis gold, redstone, and glass, uh, and then, so there's all that, um, then we need something that's one whole will, and I think we're going to need to get some more rudimentary snares kill some more zombies uh because i don't remember um i do believe there's a way to like power these things up but i don't know uh anyways we're that's fine we need more we need more stuff anyways let's eat no baby zombies please uh, but yeah, once this spawns, all right. So you're dead. You're dead. And then we can just kill both of these guys. Cool. I uh, don't think it worked, but we have. Ooh, that one has two. That is good. Um, okay. So we have some we have some demonic will. Uh, we can put that in there, and it will actually do stuff. Uh, so this will give us a petty tartaric gem, um, and then we have the leftover will. Now these you can charge, but we don't want to do that yet. Um, so these are like storage for tartaric gems. Um, now we need an iron sword. Uh, let's just go ahead and make one. And let's see if we can do this. So this guy and this, no, you go there. And then it's any of the stuff, and that will give us the sentient sword. Uh, cool. So now we do want to make another gym, I do believe. Uh, so let's get lapis, uh, gold, uh, glass, and what was the last thing? Um, okay, redstone. <laughs> Easy enough. So let's get that stuff in there. We need something that's at least one. Um, so it will drain off what it, the excess basically. And now we have a Tartaric Gem. Now here's the cool thing. This guy has no raw will. Um, if we drop this stuff on the ground, this charges up. And it's basically reusable demon will. Um, so if we want to fill this guy up, we can do that pretty easily. And just summon in some more zombies. Um, while that is happening, let's see, do we have... Wow, we do. 
Um, let's get more of this stuff. There's going to be zombies. And if we kill them with the sentient sword... Hey. Um, this does the same effect. The only problem is... This thing is very weak. And has limited durability. But we're at 605... Uh... 605 705 so we we do get more will by killing things with this guy um, probably the best thing for us to do at this point uh, I do believe we can enchant this uh, so that might not be a bad idea but we're up to what nine nine demon will not too bad uh, so, what kind of books do we have? We have Efficiency Sharpness 3. That's not bad. Um, uh, Sharpness 4, even better. And then do we have any Unbreaking? Um, Unbreaking would be nice. I don't know that Fortune works on it. Um, now granted, we could always just make stuff. But we can do that, and yeah, we'll get sharpness. Uh, we get a high enchanting, um, unbreaking enchantment. That would be really nice. So, yeah. Uh, cool things all in all. Like, everything said and done. Um, really good things that we can do with this stuff to get more stuff. Um, so let's do this one more time. I really just want one more legendary bag I don't think we're gonna have enough stuff that's a shame nope we're like one bag away so um, something we, we might look into is making the enchanted books to get that even better um, but last thing I want to do with blood magic for right now is let's make our first blood orb so one dagger swipe is what? 200 blood. So that is exactly enough for a blood orb. And much like the sigil, we need to uh, basically attune the blood orb to ourselves. Uh, not that big of a deal. Uh, just, just a right click. But uh, we're going to drain all the blood out of this guy. Um, and we can see it is very slow processing. Um, there is a little bit of blood loss, I believe, over time. No. No, there's not. I don't think. I don't know. Um, but there's ways to make this better. Um, there's this whole in, uh, incense altar thing where one swipe of uh, the dagger sacrifice, or sacrificial dagger, excuse me, uh, gives us a lot of blood. Um, but that's something that's later. So, cool. Cool. There is the weak blood orb. Uh, this is the lowest tier. We can right click it. And now it's bound to us. And we now have 200 LP in our life uh, network. Our soul network. So lots of really cool things. Um, did we get any other achievements? No. Not yet. Um, so before we go. We have two whole draconium. Oh man, um, how many Terra Steel do we have in here? Two. Two whole Terra Steels. Oh man. Um, so, how's this guy doing? Lots of seeds. That's good. Um, alright, so, what I think we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna need to set up an area for Blood Magic. I need to do a little bit of research see how large the top tier stuff is. We just need to go to a tier 5. We could go higher than that if we wanted to. Um, we probably won't because at that tier, um, higher than tier 5 really is awful. So that is a tier 1. Tier 2 requires just a small ring, um, 8 blood runes, which we haven't started making yet, um, blank runes, whatever. 
Um, so that that's easy enough. Tier two is a bigger structure, or no, tier three rather, is a bigger structure that requires, I believe, glowstone caps. Um, tier four requires these things called um, bloodstone bricks, which are actually not that bad to get. Um, you need weak blood shards to get that. You need a bound blade, I do believe. Um, I believe, yeah. Uh, so this is just you need uh, this is just a pain to get because you need a really large tartaric gem um, because it requires at least 400 will um, in the gym to to do this um, it only drains 10 though so it's not that bad we'll just have to kind of uh, farm up some will and all that kind of stuff uh, it's not too bad but I believe let's see let's see kind of what's coming um, we can see how large these are. Uh, so Tartaric Gym is 64. We need to get to a common Tartaric Gym, which requires Imbued Slates, uh, which is Tier 3. So we need to get a Tier 3 Blood Altar to make this, um, so that we can make the, the Bound Blade. Uh, but we'll get everything set up for that. But yeah, like Tier 4... Four is the bloodstone bricks, which is not too bad. And then tier five requires beacons. Um, but then after that, it requires these things called crystal clusters. Um, these guys. And to get those, you have to do this whole big uh, ritual, which is just completely and utterly annoying to do. I don't even know how to do it because I don't... I think they've changed... Um, I think they've changed a lot of how the alchemy stuff works in Blood Magic, so I don't quite know how to do that, but um, it might be these demon pylons. I don't know. Um, anyways, uh, that is going to be it from me for this episode. Uh, next time, we might do some more Blood Magic. We might move on to something else. It just kind of depends on my mood. Um, so I'm going to work on the chicken coop. I'm going to work on getting more, trying to get more draconium and terra steel so we can make more seeds and go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, Blood Magic is a lot of fun, but it's a lot of setup, a lot of um, kind of grindiness, but we'll get there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!